All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha, Kudash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel who rule well and teach well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth in sincerity and also unto you women and children. Keep on enduring because his prophecies are coming to pass and salvation is very near. For those of you who don't know, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and he exists or he is to be. Yahweh Shai is his beloved son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Yahweh Shai meaning he saves or he is the deliverer. Racha Kodash is spirit holy, pronounced in the English as Holy Spirit. This is how you say the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit in the Paleo Hebrew, also known as the Ancient Hebrew, aka the Holy Tongue. I'm your brother Bashar, coming at y'all with a quick lesson dealing with uh, a quick uh, slaki, uh, uh another day out here on the highways and byways. And we're going to open up with the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter. Chapter 9, it reads, this is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 1, he answered me then and said, measure, th measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will, be, will begin to visit the, the earth. Will begin to visit the world which he made. All right. Okay, so how do you measure the times? All right, you measure the times by looking at the, comparing the news to the prophecies. Okay, you might have... Um, you know, earthquakes in diverse places. Okay, you might have, uh, you know, pursuant to Matthew the twenty-fourth chapter, the uh, the uh, the first verse on down. You know, earthquakes, and uh, this is what the scriptures is talking about. You know, how to measure the times. Because what did Yahweh Shai tell his disciples? You know, um, when he uh, when his disciples asked, inquiring. When will he return? He gave them signs, okay? So they can look at, look after. So, because those signs, those particular prophecies will be the prophecies that will indicate when he's going to return, okay? So this is why the scriptures is saying, measure thou the time diligently in itself, all right? Continuing on. Okay, we're gonna. And when thou seest part of this of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right. So, when when part of the signs have a uh, part of, of the prophecies will be fulfilled. It's, it's, it's prophesied that we, that, that we, that we were going to see um, the highest begin to visit the world which he made. And how is the highest begin, the highest beginning to visit the world which he made? Okay. First of all, who is the highest? Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay. Bahashim Racha Kudash. And, and he's visiting the, the world through his, uh, through his, uh, through his angels. Okay. Okay. You got celestial angels and you got terrestrial angels. Okay, the celestial angels were sent out. This is why we, every, 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 every since the 50s and 60s, you've seen a lot of uh, uh, so-called UFO sightings, which we know those UFOs are not um, unidentified flying objects. Those UFOs are, in fact, they are identified, okay? And they are identified as the angels uh, of the Heavenly Father in which... Um, those are the vehicles in which the, 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 the angels of the Heavenly Father travel, uh, travel in, okay? So these vehicles are identified, and the Lord is beginning to visit the world, which he made through his angels, okay? Again, beginning with the celestial angels, coming to, uh, to, uh, 
to uh to um give this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to those who be hearers of salvation. Okay, let's get that in the book of Hebrews, the first chapter. Slaki, just bear with me a second, Bab Kashah. You know what? I'll, I'll get it in my phone. Just to, for the sake of time. Hebrews, the first chapter. Okay, it reads. We're going to start. We're going to read verse 7. And of the angels, he said, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. Um, Salakia, uh, we're going to read verse 14. Uh, they are, verse 13, but unto which of the angels, talking about the, the celestial angels, said he at any time sit on my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. Okay. Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be hearers of salvation? Who shall be hearers of sal 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 salvation? Okay, so the celestial angels are sent forth uh, to, to minister to those, um, the elect, okay, the house of David. All right. Beginning, um, also, uh, and and, 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 and and this began uh, in the 50s and the 60s when Ab Abba Bibbins came on, on the scene, which we know to which we know to be Elijah. Okay. And then today, you know, this is why we, you know, you, 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 you see so many men waking up to the to the true nationality, you know, to the fact that they are Israelites. Okay. And they're waking up to 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 the, uh, the, the uh, who 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 they are, and and they're coming out and they're ministering, okay. And this is the highest beginning to visit the world which he made, okay. And that proves that the angels are the Holy Spirit, okay. Continuing on on Second Ezra, the ninth chapter. Second Ezra, the ninth chapter reads, Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay? So now we understand when, you know, our Lord is, is coming back. Yahweh Shai is going to re 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 return. Okay? Because referring back to Matthew, the, 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 the 24th chapter, the disciples, they asked the Lord, when was he going to re 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 return? And he's going to return in this time, okay? He's not going to return in the next lifetime and in the lifetime after that. No, he's, he's going to return in your lifetime, all right? And this is this is why we we need to re re repent, man. Now is the time to repent. Continuing on. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world and out and out and out and out we seen earthquakes and uproars of 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 the of, of the of the people in in, in the in the in the world yeah you know we're seeing all of that happening right now you know and you know to further prove that um yahweh shai uh, is uh it this is talking about the the uh matthew the, the 24th chapter you know because when you read matthew the 24th chapter it mentions in the seventh verse you know um uh, the, the earthquakes in diverse places you know and you know what let me pull that up because i'm referencing it way too much to not actually bring it out okay 
and Yahushua went out and departed from the temple and his disciples came to him from to show him the building of the temple and Yahushua said unto them see ye not all these things verily I say unto you there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down okay and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives the disciples came unto him privately saying tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world and Yahweh shall answer and said unto them take heed that no man deceive you okay so when you continue reading on you'll you're gonna you're gonna read about the part of the signs okay all right and we're entering into the second part all right because when you read verse 8 it says all these are the beginnings of sorrows okay right all all of these are the beginnings of, of, of sorrow that was just the beginning okay we're coming into a time where we enter in Jake entering into Jacob's trouble All right, so what is Jacob's trouble? Jacob's trouble is, bear with me a second. Slack here. All right, this is the book of Jer Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, and we're going to read verse 6. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child, whether for do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Right, because it's going to be a lot of uh, 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 depressed people in that time okay sad is gonna be a, a time of sorrow okay a, so a, a time of distress okay matter of fact let's get that in the book of Zeph Ze Zephaniah Zephaniah the first chapter we're gonna read verse 14 on down it reads the great day of the Lord is near it is near and hasteth greatly right so now that we know that the great day of the Lord is the great day of Yahweh Bahashin Yahweh Shai is near, what are we to do? Okay, you know, well, when I say we, first and foremost, I'm talking about you so-called African, you, 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 you Israelites, you so-called African Americans, you so-called Native Americans, and so-called Hispanics. Why? Because only unto you is salvation. Okay, when you go into the book of, and 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 we're gonna get back on track, but just a further prove that point um uh you know what we'll get back to that because i don't want to get too much off topic but continuing on at verse 4 to, 4 to 14 also you israelites that be like unto the speckled bird okay you israelites that look like the other nations because you were scattered amongst the other nations all right not every israelite is going to look like so-called african-american so-called native americans or so-called hispanic all right then Continuing on, verse 14. Then the great day, the, the great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasted greatly. Even the voice of the day of the of Yah of Yahweh Bahashim Shai, the mighty men shall cry there bitterly. Right, and we're entering into that time. We're entering into the time where 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 where, where it's gonna be men who, who thought they were tough, you know, even men. Men that served in, in in the army, you know, in the military, they're gonna they're gonna cry bitterly. Alright? Continuing on at verse 15. That that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble, and a day of distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of cloud clouds and thick darkness. All right, well, let's, let's go to second address, the 15th chapter to further expound upon that. Let's 
This is the book of Second Measures, the 15th chapter. And we're going to begin at verse 11. But I will bring the, you know, we're going to start at verse 12. Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plagues and punishments that the Most High shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn, for, for the seed shall fail. Okay, so that's one reason. Okay, it's going to be a famine. You know, and it, it, even 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 now there's a there's a there's a there's a famine. You know, you, you see inflammation or, or uh, in, 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 inflation ha taking place. You know, the price of food is skyrocketing, and it's all because these um um this is a uh, this is a a, a, a a famine taking this is a famine taking taking place upon the earth not not not, not only here in uh babylon the great america but it's taking place all around the world okay continuing on they that till the ground shall mourn for the seed shall fail though through the uh, though the blasting and hailing and with the fearful consolation woe to the world okay Woe means destruction. Continuing on, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and to fight against another with swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition amongst men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their in their in their power. Okay, so you know it's gonna be all hell breaking loose on the soils of America, man. Why? For well, for many reasons, you know. But but to name a few, you know, it, it, there's gonna be uh, lockdowns happening. There's gonna be uh, a, a, a even uh, a, a more shortage of food. Okay, it's gonna be a lot of desperate people out here that want to feed their children and they're not going to be able to feed their children so they're going to start taking actions into their own hands okay they're going to start invading one another's uh uh uh, uh, uh um places of living you know they're going to start invading start invading each 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 each, 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 each other's houses all right why because of the of the lack of bread you know people are going to people are going to get start people are going to start to get desperate they've already started making um ebt cuts all right i know i know somebody personally that don't qualify all right and 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 and, and, and they're they're stressed the hell out you know and that's just one person i can only imagine hundreds like uh, hundreds of 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 of, of people out there families okay a lot of fatherless children out there that 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 that, that, that just that don't um they're they're gonna have to really cut back on on their on their foods well, guess what, man? It's it's it's, it's going to get worse. All right, let's save the Bible. They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail through through, 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 through the blasting and hailing, through, through the blasting and hail, and with the fearful consolation woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Continuing on verse uh, verse fifteen, for the sword. Matter of fact, I just read all this. Uh, verse sixteen, for there for there shall be sedition amongst men, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. In the course of their actions, shall stand in their power. Right, they're gonna have to defend themselves, because in that time, you're not gonna be able to call nine one one. 
911 is going to be completely out of service. Instead, you're going to see martial law troops up and down the sh these uh, these main streets, all right? A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. All right, so why are they, why are they not going to be able? Why? Because these uh these bridges are going to be uh, locked down, and you, and 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 you're going to see um uh EU troops rolling up and down the streets of a of of a, of America, not having pity on you Americans because they they already don't like you. All right. So they're gonna, man. They, you, you, you better believe. If they see anybody out here past the curfew, man. Even it doesn't even. It could be during, during daylight. All right. I'm telling you, man. The the, the, the Lord is gonna uh, turn up the, the spirit of vengeance up, 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 up on this place, man. They're not gonna have no pity. Continuing on at verse seventeen. Verse 18, for because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Okay? A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. And for great tribulation, right? So this is all gonna come to the swords of, of of America, man. And this is even more reason to repent now and seek the men of the Lord and seek the ways of the Lord. All right. And repent. Because you know the right now the, the, the doors of mercy is the doors of mercies are open, but it's gonna come a time where, where uh, it's gonna be very difficult to find the men of the Lord. It's gonna be very difficult to uh, to um, seek the Lord's face, all right? Seek the, the, the ways of righteousness, all right? Because right now, the men of the Lord, they're giving you the, 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 the correct understanding of the scriptures, okay? You see these, these churches on every corner. You know, you go to any, any, any one of them, they're not going to give you the correct doctrine, all right? You got to seek the men of the Lord. All right, so I'm going to go back to second edges. <clears throat> Salaki, second Ezra is the ninth chapter. Second Ezra chapter nine. And I'm gonna, gonna start at verse five. For like as all things uh we'll start at verse five. For like as all things is made in the world have a beginning and an end and the end is manifest right right now we are we are witnessing the 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 the, the end being be, be, being 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 manifested on on the earth okay and what is the end well let's go to second measures the sixth chapter okay because now we're going to go back to the story of jacob and esau Okay, because right now we're, we are witnessing a downfall of a kingdom. This is the, this is the end. It's not talking about the end of the world because the, the, the scriptures say that the earth abided forever. This is talking about an end of a a kingdom. All right. Second Ezra chapter six. I'm going to read at verse six. Then did I consider these things, and they. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Verse 6. Then did I consider these things, 
and they all were made through through me alone and through none other by me also they shall be ended and by none other okay so more Yah yahweh shai okay yahweh shai made everything and he, it, 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 and, and, and he's gonna end it too you know he, he's gonna end everything in, in 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 this kingdom he's gonna put this kingdom he's gonna bring this kingdom to a to an end all right verse 7 then answered i and said what shall be the parting asunder of time of the times or when shall the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth okay so what was Ezra's as in, 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 inquiring about Ezra was inquiring about when is the Lord gonna set gonna gonna, gonna do away with uh with the with with this um with this current kingdom all right and when, and when is he gonna uh um deliver uh, the elect okay when is he going to come back and uh, set up his kingdom and verse 8 and he uh, then answered okay uh, Slakia, verse 8 and he said unto me from Abraham unto Isaac when Jacob and Esau were born of whom Jacob's hand held the first Jacob held first the heel of Esau. Okay? So this is it. Go, go, going back to Genesis, the 25th chapter. All right? Where it, where it talks about Jacob and Esau. And when they were born, there was a deeper meaning behind it. What was that deeper meaning? Okay? Well, first of all, when who who came out first? Who came out who came out of who came out of the womb first? It was Esau. Okay? Indicating that Esau was, which is the nation of Edom, which is our so-called or Caucasian race today, their kingdom was going to be established first, okay? But afterwards, another kingdom was going to arise, all right? And that, and 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 and, 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 and that kingdom is the kingdom of Yahshua Allah, okay? The kingdom of Israel, all right? Which are, again, it's going to be the kingdom of, um, you know, you so-called African Americans, you so-called Native Americans, and so-called Hispanics, beginning with, you know, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, okay, and King David, and the elect, all right, the first fruit of the nations of the nation of Israel, all right. Um. Then, then our forefather Jacob pulled the heel of of Esau, and that was you know which the scriptures are going to dive into it. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of whom Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, okay? And, okay, the hand of man is betwixt the heel and the hand of, it's like it, and verse 10 again, the hand of man is betwixt the heel and the hand. Other questions Ezra asks not. Other, answer, uh, other questions Ezra asks thou not. Okay, so um, we're entering, we're witnessing, we're witnessing the last seconds of this kingdom, all right, this, this kingdom, all right, and this is why we're, 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 we're going to see all hell break loose, because what Esau, what he's doing, he's walking about the earth as a roaring lion, why, because he's trying to create uh, order out of chaos. He's trying to put. He's trying to establish his new world order. 
all right? Because he knows that our Lord is going to come back, all right? And he's and what he he's trying to uh this this is why you see uh um uh trail de derailments. This is why you see um generic natural disasters taking place on the earth. All right, you see uh, a bunch of hurricanes, back-to-back -back hurricanes out there happening in um, in Florida and amongst Puerto, Puerto Rico and the South, you know? And, you, and, you, and you, when you go to California, you see a, a, a bunch of uh, earthquakes, fires start, start, starting up, you know, wild, wild, wild fires. You know, this is this is all being done first and foremost through the, the Lord, okay. And he's using Esau. This is one of the ways that he's doing it. He's using Esau to do it through his uh, harp harp program. All right, which that's a uh, that's um. They they use the heart program to uh, manipulate the weather. All right, this is why years back you had uh, out out there in Texas you had snow, and the snow wasn't melting. Okay, it was people grabbing the, the snow, putting fire to it, and, and 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 the snow was was turning black, and it wasn't even melting. If 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 if, if, if I'm not mistaken, it was catching on, on on fire. Okay, but moving forward. Um, because they want to start putting people into put people into 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 these FEMA camps. Okay, one of, one of the things, one of the uh, uh, one of the things that they were doing to the people out there in Cleveland, uh, uh, uh amongst that uh train, the amongst the area where, where that train was derailed and all of those chemicals went into the air one of, one of the things that they did was they uh relocated the people okay and this is what they're gonna this is what they're trying to do they're they're, they're trying to relocate the the, 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 the the people into these uh these 15 minute um cities they're called 15 minute cities which those are the uh the modern day fema the, the, the detention camps and what they're going to try to do in those fema the, the, the detention camps is uh uh re-educate the, the the people to get down with their new world their new world order all right the scriptures talk about um, going back to Second Ezra, the uh, fifteen chapter. It talks about uh, how no man shall be able to enter into a city. Shall uh, a man shall desire to enter into 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 the city and shall not be shall not be be, 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 be able, you know? So that's talking about martial law. Um. And again, going back to the FEMA camp, Salakia, I got off topic. But going back to the FEMA camps, they're gonna also start chipping you people too. All right. And 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 soon it's it's gonna come a time where they're not gonna they're not gonna uh, 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 give you a decision whether to get um, whether if you want to get chipped. All right. Is, is they're gonna um they're, they're gonna either tell you well sloppy they're, 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 they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna tell you either take the chip or get put to death you know but this is why they they're having those uh FEMA de detention camps so they can re-educate the people so they won't have to do that because what what Esau wants to do he wants to chip on oh, sloppy I keep on saying that 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 word he. He, he wants to um, um, uh, 
rice device, so to speak. Um, as many people as as he as he wants, pr pursuant to Revelation, the the thirteenth chapter. Matter of fact, let's get that. I'm just gonna get it on my phone. I keep on forgetting I got my cell phone on me. Just bear with me a second. This is Revelation, the 13th chapter, and we're going to begin at the, <clears throat> the 16th verse. It reads, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay, so what is this talking about? It's talking about the rice device okay the c hit all right and what basically what they want to do is they want to um they want to in, 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 in put these put this rice device in as many people as they want mainly you jakes all right so they can monitor you wherever you go monitor your every move make you a part of the uh the internet of of things okay so they can uh again monitor you and can, and, 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 and 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 basically um track your every move all of your spending and basically to control you verse 14 and uh, uh, Slack, it says, uh, it says, uh, and he calls all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark. Now, when you go into that word mark, you know, it, it that word mark is the, uh, the word, when you go into the Greek, you, you can see the word, uh, uh, karagma, which the, the root word of karagma is karax, right? Which is which is the uh, again the rice device. Continuing on, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, does it actually have to be in your right hand or 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 in your forehead? No, no. You can receive it any you know. If you, it doesn't matter where you receive it. The Lord is still going to destroy you, pursuant to a revelation of 14th chapter. If you re re receive it, it doesn't. Again, it doesn't matter if you put it, if you put it on your in, in your in your right foot or in your right hand or in, or or in your brain. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you if you get it on your left your left hand. It doesn't matter. Okay, the Lord does. He, he's giving you a warning not to receive this mark, or else he's going to bring judgment upon you which we're going to further expound upon that judgment in, 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 a, in a second verse 17 and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name here is wisdom okay so let's get into the judgment all right Get into the judgment real, 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 real quick. This is the book of Revelation, the 14th chapter, and we're gonna start at verse nine. Okay, okay, because this is this is the judgment for whoever receives that 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 device. You know, it reads, and the, and the third angel followed them, saying, with a loud voice, "If any man worship the beast and his image." And receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high which is poured out without mixture 
into the cup of his indignation. All right. And he shall be tormented with fire and with brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. Okay, so who are the holy angels? The holy angels, first of all, who, are, who, who is the lamb? The lamb is Yahawashai, okay? And the angels are the elect, okay? The men, women, and children, beginning with, uh, Slaki, uh, beginning with the, with the 144,000, all right? And, and, and then following the one third. All right, so you, you know, whoever takes that, that mark, it will be destroyed. Verse 11, and the smoke of her torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest, they no night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receive the mark of his name. All right, and this is not talking about hell. All right, IUIC. You know what? Let me get this real quick. It's not talking about burning forever in, 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 in hell. All right. We get a quick a quick scripture to to prove that. This is Jeremiah the fiftieth chapter. We're gonna scroll down to verse thirty. Ah, sloppy. Slack here, bear with me a second. All right, this is the book of Jeremiah, the 50th chapter, and we're going to start at verse 33. Thus said the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took. Okay, let's read verse 34. Slack here. Um, verse 35 first verse 34 their redeemer is strong and the lord of hosts is his name he shall utter, uh, he shall thoroughly plead their cause I'm talking about the elect that 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 he may give rest to the land and this quiet the inhabitants of babylon a sword is upon the Chaldeans. Who is the modern day child, 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 Chaldeans? Okay, the modern day Chaldeans are the Americans. Okay, why? Because it's so much the abundance of of of, of sorceries that's in this place. All right. Um, because the Chaldeans were known for their sorceries. Continuing on, said the Lord, and let's read verse thirty-five again. A sword is upon the Chaldeans, said the Lord. And upon the inhabitants of Babylon, okay, Babylon being America, and upon the princes and upon her wise men, a sword is upon. Let me get to the point, Slakia. So yeah, this is the point. Verse thirty-nine. Therefore, the wild beast of the desert. Verse thirty-eight, Slakia. A drought is upon her waters. And they shall be dried up, for it is the land of graven images, and they are made are mad upon their idols. Therefore, the wild beast of the desert, with the wild beast of the islands, shall dwell therein, and the owl shall dwell therein, and it shall be no more inhabited forever. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Okay, so that's saying that you know after this, after uh, Babylon the Great, America gets made into a lake of fire. Eventually, okay, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be dwelt in from generation to generation. 
because again it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a big old lake of fire okay the scripture says that um the elements shall melt with fervent heat okay so everything that you see around you is gonna be completely melted and it's gonna be a a, 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 a great big uh, lake of fire okay but eventually you know this place will become a desert all right and it's gonna, it's gonna come when you go into verse 40 it's gonna compare it to Sodom and Gomorrah okay continuing on at verse 40 as the as the most high overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighboring cities thereof said the Lord so shall no man abide there neither shall any son of man dwell therein behold a people shall come okay so that's basically it you know that was basically the point it's like it kind of lost my my track oh yeah con going, going, going back going back to um uh going back to talking about the the uh the rice device Okay, because we we already spoke about the rice device, and then we spoke about the judgment. So now we're gonna get to, um, you know, just to further expound up, 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 upon up, upon it. This is the book of Job, chapter twenty. We're gonna fast forward to verse twenty-three. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and shall rain it upon him. While he is eating, he shall flee. Okay, so what is this talking about when he is about to fill his his belly? It's talking about when uh, when these elites, okay, are about to um are are causing people to receive this this rice device, okay. This is what he. This is like, this is what he wants. He wants total con control. He believes by doing this, he's he's, he's going to have total con 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 control. And, but he's not con con considering that, you know, the Most High ruled in the kingdom of men. You know. Verse twenty three again. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High Yahweh Bahashim Al Shai shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. What is he going to rain upon him while, while while he is deceiving the people to while, while, while he is causing the people to receive this rice device? He's going to rain the ICBM nuclear missiles. Okay? Continuing on. He shall flee from the iron weapon. Okay? What is the iron weapon? Okay? And why is he fleeing from it? <laughs> because these are the, 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 the these these are the missiles. And where is he gonna flee to? All right, he's gonna he's gonna try to flee to those bunkers, which we're gonna we're gonna get some scriptures to expound upon that as well. He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike him through. It is drawn. Okay. The bow of steel shall strike him through. All right. It is drawn and cometh out of the body. Yeah, the glittering sword cometh out of his galls. Terrors are upon him. Okay, he's going to be frightened. He's going to be running like a little deer. I ain't going to say it because I, I don't want this thing to get um, cut. Yeah, but he's... He's, he's, he's going to run, but he's not going to be able to hide, okay? Because pursuant to Jeremiah, the 16th chapter, the 16th verse on down, the Lord is going to send forth his elect to, 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 to take him out of those bunkers. But before we get that, we're going to go to the book of Amos. But this, let's, let's finish verse 24 real quick. It is drawn and cometh out of the body. Yeah, the glittering sword cometh out of his galls, terrors are upon him. All right.
Bear with me a second. This is the book of Amos. And we're gonna start at verse. We're gonna start at verse one. Okay, this is talking about these elites going into those going into those bunkers. I saw the Lord standing upon the altar, and he said, Smite the lintel of the door that the post may shake and cut them in the foreheads, right? So the Lord is gonna allow, you know, the elect, Lord willing us brothers be of that number. The, the, the brothers who are sin, sin, doing this thing with truth and sincerity. They're gonna, he, he's gonna allow his elect to, 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 to actually lay hold on these elites, you know? And this is like like the scripture says. This is the patience. This 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 is the patience of the saints. You know. Let's let's, let's get that real real quick. This is the patience of the saints. Lock it. This is Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here, uh, Slaki. Slack, but it's but it's but, but it's written in there. Let's 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 continue on in, 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 in Amos. Because uh, this is what the elect is waiting for. You know? This is what this is this is this is what we're what we're we're waiting for. Lord willing we be of that number. Continuing on. Smite the lintel of the door that the post may shake and cut them in the in the head of all of them. And I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleeth of them shall not flee away. And he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. Verse 2. Though they dig into hell. Okay, so what is this talking about when they say though they dig into hell? Or is it actually talking about them digging into a, 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 a fire pit? No, it's not talking about that. Where, where is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it talking about you know digging into a fire, a a a a a, a, a underground cave where, where where there's a bunch of fire and and, and there's a, a a a demon with a pitchfork? No, it's not talking about that. This is talking about these elites digging into the earth. All right, going into their underground bunkers. Continuing on, though they dig into hell, thence shall my hand take them though they climb up to heaven thence will i bring them down okay even that they, they're uh they have bunkers up there in the space stations okay i mean outer outer space they got they got those space stations and a lot of them are gonna escape are, are, are gonna try to escape out there in the space stations they're gonna try to escape the the, the glittering sword as it is written in the book of Job, uh, Job, the 20th chapter. Continuing on. Then shall my hand, okay. Though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, then will I bring them down. Though and though they hide themselves in, in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence, and though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. Okay, so what is this talking about? This is talking about their under, underwater bunkers, okay, that they have underneath the sea. Okay, but guess what? The Lord is going to have Leviathan. All right, destroyed them while they're in those bunkers. 
Continuing on at verse four. Let's read verse three again. And though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent and he shall bite them. And though they go into captivity before their enemies, thence will I command uh let's you know we're gonna fast forward to because the Lord is gonna bring these uh these elites in, into captivity just bear with me a second Yeah, this is the book of uh, this is the book of um, well, Slotty. This is the same same book, Amos, the ninth chapter. But we're gonna start at verse. We're gonna end it off with verse. Well, we're not gonna end it off right here. We're gonna read verse eleven, and then uh, to twelve, and it reads: In that day will I rise up the tabernacle of David, that is fallen, and close up the breachers thereof, and I will rise up raise up his ruins and i will build it as in the days of old okay so the, so the elect you know the lord is going to raise them up verse 12 that they may possess the remnant of edom okay who is edom the Ed edom is talking about the so-called white, white white man the caucasian race and all of the heathen okay and not only them, but the heathen, the, these other nations as well. Continuing on, which are called by my name. It's like, which are called by my name, said the Lord that goeth, that doeth this. Okay? So, uh, yeah, this is, this is, this is what's going to happen. All right? And these, and, and these, these other Nations, they're not gonna make war any 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 anymore. Pursuant to Isaiah, the second chapter, all right. And this is a quick precept, um, because you know during when all of these kingdoms fall, pursuant to Daniel the second chapter, where where it talks about the statue. Um, when when that statue falls, man, when the Lord comes back and destroys all of these other kingdoms. There's not going to be no more war. All right. This is uh, verse 13. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that the plowman shall over. Uh, oh, that's uh, Isaiah, the second chapter. And that's gonna be like, you know, when these Edomites fall, man, that's 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 gonna be the, the that's gonna be a beautiful thing, man. Because that's all these these devils do is is raise war on the planet, man. Lie, the, the scriptures say that the, the wicked come not but but for to steal, kill, and destroy. All right, we ain't gonna have to worry about that in the kingdom, man. We're not gonna have to worry about that when they go into captivity. <coughs> Just bear with me a second. I'm in Isaiah, the second chapter. Just something to look for the... The actual point.
Okay, this is verse 4. Uh, Isaiah chapter chapter 2, verse 4. And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords, okay, into plowshares. Okay, what is that saying? I Meaning they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna make their, their their war weapons into farming utensils. Okay, meaning that it's no it's not gonna be no more war. War is gonna be done away with, it's not gonna be a thing no more. Continue, continuing on and their spears into pruny hooks nations shall not lift up sword against nation neither shall they learn war anymore okay so that's that's something that we look forward to man and when i say we i, I speak as one of the hopeful men of the hopeful elect you know and, and with that Lord willing, you brothers and sisters was edified. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah, Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who rule well and teach well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out there, pushing this truth and sincerity, and also to you women and children. Keep on adoring, because these prophecies are coming to pass, and salvation is very near. Shalom.